when it comes to avalanches, we don't want to rely on luck. The beautiful Colorado Rockies, an attraction for a reason. Colorado, we've got some of the best scenery around. But before you go, it's important to remember the dangers that come along with heavy snowfall. And in an average year, we average about 25 deaths in the United States and about six deaths in Colorado. In 2020, Dale Atkins with the Alpine Rescue Team says Colorado saw double the average in avalanche deaths. I believe we had 12 and that tied a, a, a modern record for avalanche deaths in Colorado. This year, late moisture, Atkins says, still has an impact on the snowpack. Those dry conditions that allows the snow that stays on the ground to change to sugar becomes very sugar-like and loose. So it becomes a very poor base. It's a poor foundation for the snow that falls. Atkins doesn't want people to be afraid to enjoy all Colorado has to offer, but he says take the time to get educated on avalanches, go with people who have good judgment, and have rescue gear with you. The transceiver, probe, shovel, uh, the record reflectors. To give a sobering reality, Atkins says only one in every 15 people found following an avalanche are found alive. But if you get buried in the snow, your chances of survival are not good. He says debris like hitting trees or rocks are a threat, but the real killer. About two thirds to maybe three quarters of avalanche victims die from suffocation. And never, he says, underestimate the strength of Mother Nature. Avalanches. I mean, they travel as fast as a, as a speeding car on I-70, but they travel with the mass of a freight train. Courtney from Fox 31.